Now we go to Sahih Bukhari. I had to follow this logical sequence because of two men. One is Ibn Khaldun and the other is Dr. Muhammad Iqbal. <laughs> One of the reasons why Ibn Khaldun is so very famous is that in the Western world, oh my gosh, they raise him to a very high pedestal. Why? I'll tell you why. Because Ibn Khaldun said that all the hadith pertaining to that man were forgeries, fabricated. <laughs> and Muhammad Iqbal followed in the footsteps of Ibn Khaldun and declared that all the hadith pertaining to that man are forgeries fabricated. And as a consequence, generations of Islamic scholarship were misguided. Who is that man? That Ibn Khaldun dismissed. Who is that man? That Dr. Muhammad Iqbal dismissed. Sahih Bukhari. And Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam said, Kayfa antum? How will you be at that time? Ida nazar alaykum nu Maryam. When the son of Mary, of Maryam, will descend amongst you. Nabi Isa alayhi salam. Wa imamukum minkum. Wa imamukum minkum. And at that time, your Imam would be from within your own ranks. Who is that Imam who is to come in Akhiru Zaman? This is not any ordinary Imam. This is an Imam who is to come at the time of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And therefore, an Imam of Akhiru Zaman. Who is the Imam of Akhiru Zaman? All that you have to do is to leave Sahih Bukhari and go to Sahih Muslim. And Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam identifies him by title, not by name, that he is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. 